Hello, this is a quick video overview of the new Krellant 7G9. If you'd like to see a full review, you can go ahead and follow the link below. So, the 7G9 is one of Krellant's new offerings. Um, it's not an, exactly an upgrade to any older model, um, but it is in the 7G series here. Uh, Krellant's pretty well known for their old 7G5 series uh, light. Um, it's a, that, that light's well known because of its excellent throwing abilities. It just puts the light out really far. Um, so the 7G9 is going to top that. It's going to put the light out even farther. So um, the 7G9 uh, uses the Cree XML U-tube end emitter, currently the most efficient high brightness emitter available. Um, and that's great because this is putting out over a thousand lumens at the front of it, this, this there. Um, so uh, you can also see it's got a smooth reflector, pretty deep and pretty large. Um, that's going to be to focus the light really well on the smoothness of it, make sure none of it gets scattered uh, like a textured reflector would. Um, so you can see it's also got the stainless steel bezel, bezel here, uh, protect the light from impacts to the head. Also, this looks kind of nice. Um, a lot of heat dissipation fins uh, along the side that's pretty important um, because this light does build up quite a lot of heat when you're running it on high. Um, so you can see uh, it's got some a little bit of really light knurling uh, on the, this body section here. It doesn't really provide a lot of the grip. Most of the grip you're getting from these cutouts um, in the heat fins. Um, so in the tail uh, it's got a forward click tail cap, which means you can half press it and the light will turn on momentarily uh, and then it'll just go off again as soon as you release it. Or you can click it into position and the light will stay on until the next time you click it back off. Uh, the tail cap um, is crenellated with these cutouts here so that as you're holding it, you can reach that button pretty easy with your thumb, but also you can just set it down and it'll be able to do a solid tail stand, uh, not get knocked over easily. So uh, when you take the light apart, you can see this is going to, um, this is where the uh, batteries make con the positive end of the batteries make contact there. And then you can see this takes three 18650 size batteries. Um, and the fit in there uh, for some of the larger batteries is kind of snug. I've got three Cali's Customs batteries here, which are kind of thicker batteries. And I had to actually remove the stickers from them uh, in order to get them to, to slide in and out very easily. Um, so with the stickers on there, they were pretty snug, and I actually had to use pliers to get them out. So uh, this is something to be aware of. If you're using thicker batteries, uh, you're going to have to uh, take that into consideration. Um, but uh, you can see one nice feature is this doesn't have a uh, battery carrier, some plastic thing like some multi-cell lights have. Um, they all just sit right there uh, in these slots that are just cut out from the aluminum. Um, so that uh, is going to be pretty solid. You don't have any chance for a battery kill, carrier failure there. Um, so with those three in there, the threads on here are very smooth, uh, well-made threads, which is nice uh, for the battery changes. So uh, the 7G9 has three modes. It's got uh, high, medium, and low. You just access those by clicking through uh, the tail cap repeatedly. So let's see here. You can see that the brightness changes as you go through. So we've got high and medium and low. And then you can just click it into position and use that one for a little while, as long as you want. So uh, this has been a quick video overview of the Krellant 7G9. If you'd like to see a full review, you can go ahead and follow the link below. Thanks.